have you have four Doppler right. radar right. units on your head, mm -hmm. and the idea is, and, and these could be built into a hat, of course. It wouldn't have to be wouldn't have to be dangling off the top of your head like that. Yeah. And and the idea is to is to warn you when something is approaching you. Right. Either close or fast. Yeah, exactly. And it'll tell you relative frequency and, I mean, relative speed, and also the distance away it is from you. So this strikes me as useful in this time of hybrid vehicles that don't make any sound. Absolutely. Since I've almost been run over by a Prius. Wow. Uh, I would like to know when something is coming from behind me. Mm -hmm. And that's the idea of this. Absolutely. Uh-huh. So... So this is currently in normal mode, indicated by this green light over here. Uh huh. And so, the, and down here is the signal processing. Absolutely. The signal processing for the for the sensors, and then the microcontroller, which is doing the master control. Mm -hmm. And and so, if I if I bring a hand towards you, you get a vibra vibration sense on your chest because yes. it's from the front. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Can I, uh, if I were to take that vibrator and put it against the camera? Do you think I could catch it? Yeah. Do you think? It's actually fairly strong. So. Okay, so let's let's see if I if I if I put it against the camera and then I could certainly feel it. So so would you So how, uh, you, you see this for like going through crowds as well as, as for avoiding cars mm -hmm. and, and maybe for safety in, in some circumstances. Yes. But what, what motivated you to build it? So I thought, okay, so there's a lot of different ways um, that this could apply. So one of them was that I looked at cars and their, um, they've had, like dynamic speed control for a while. Mm -hmm. And what they've been doing recently is they actually have automated driving. Mm -hmm. um, so, and that automated driving uses something like this because the, um, what this is is drop the Doppler shift effect and that's relative to the motion of the actual thing. Mm -hmm. So you're able to detect differences relative to yourself. And I thought that obviously doing this on a car would be fairly dangerous. Um, for just like for testing purposes for sure so this was a really great idea I thought um, just to be able to do it on a personal level and also that um, it's also a very applicable um, for actual human beings because for example if you're walking out at night and um, it's a dark alley you don't necessarily know exactly what's around you so this will be able to tell you or alert you to things that are coming and also, for example, if you're blind and some sneaky person tries to um, come at you and it's noisy around you, you can't sense them, this will be able to detect. Well, let's, let's say if you have sight problems, mm -hmm. could you use this for navigation? I mean, aside from, self, I mean, from safety, could mm -hmm. you use it for navigation? Could you tell when you were approaching a wall, for instance? Absolutely. So that's the relative <coughs> portion. So the, move, the wall itself is moving relative to you. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it absolutely detects it and tells you that the ball is at a certain distance from you as well. Okay, so you could, so you could, uh, uh, and and because it's because it's a vibrator motor, mm -hmm. it doesn't impair your sense of hearing at all. Absolutely. So, which is important for sight impaired. Mm -hmm. you don't want to have your sense of hearing compromised. Right. And. Uh, so it could be useful. So uh, what kind of range do you get? How far away could you sense a wall that you were approaching? I would say at least half of this lab. So, so you're saying you're saying like 20 feet. Yes. Which is the, the nice thing about having microwave frequency things is that it's able to have a really long range. Right, long range and and, and uh, reflects almost almost everything off of almost everything. It won't reflect off of glass. It won't reflect off of of of, of uh, 
pure insulators, but I'll bet it bounces off these concrete walls just fine because there's steel in them. Interesting. So, uh, can I try it? Yeah. 